In the new version, 3.0 of Posture Screen Mobile, there are some, some exciting new features. One is the ability to back up your app outside of iTunes and iCloud. That allows you to back up your patient data periodically when you see fit. And if you get a new, new device and you want to not merely restore your device from the previous backup, you can pull in your data as long as it's iPad to iPad or iPod to iPod or iPhone to iPhone. Um, you can't go from an iPhone database to an iPad database. Keep that in mind. Um, so when we start up the app, you're going to see that we have a new blue theme. And we come over to main menu. You're going to see that we have this backup menu right here. So we go ahead and click the backups. And then the first thing, that you're, if you've never connected to the Dropbox, you should download Dropbox from the App Store. It's a free uh, app. And install it. Set up your own account. You can have Dropbox run on your Windows, your Mac, or Linux computers simultaneously. It's like a simultaneous shared folder between all of your devices as well as iPads and iPhones and Android devices. So I'm going to hit Connect to Dropbox. Now, if you have never connected your device to Dropbox, at this screen it's going to give you a, um, a join. Uh, it's going to go to their website and open up and you can sign up for your account right there. Now, you can see that I've already done it. You can see right through here it says Dr. Joe at Ideal Spine. I'm going to click Allow. And now it authorizes my app to contact Dropbox. Re returns back here. If I click Refresh Backup List, if you've backed up other iPads to your the same Dropbox folder with the same credentials, you'll see all of your backups right here. Okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, if I want to restore from a prior backup, remember, if you read right through here, I want you to pay attention. It does not back up your credits. Now, I belabor that point because... People don't realize it. The only way to back up your credits, and it's not up to us, it's to iTunes. You have to do your backups or device specific for your credits, as well as only iTunes or iCloud will back up everything on your device. Though you have to restore your whole device, all your apps, and all your data. So, what this allows is if you get a second iPad and you want to restore a, uh, all your patient data to that one, you can. So now what we're going to do is we're going to browse. I'm going to choose this 8.20 p.m. 7.13 uh, exam. So now it's going to give you a warning. All the existing data with Imposter Screen Mobile is going to be wiped out. I click yes. I understand that. Restore. Are you confident that you want to erase the database, the patient's screen, and replace it with this copy on Dropbox? Okay. When I click yes, it's going to wipe out what's in there. So I'm going to click yes. Now it's going to download the database from Dropbox. Okay, what's nice about this is that it's independent of having to restore your complete device to a backup. Again, it only does patient data, and you should do this every couple days if you're doing a lot of screenings. Okay, now what this screen means here is you have to exit out of the app completely, not just close it down by clicking the home button because that means it's running in the background. So. The way you do that is, and if you click help, it's going to, if you click help, it, it brings you to a video that shows you how to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. You click OK. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click the home button. That's the only button on the iPad. People ask me, what's the home button? Well, there's only one. Makes it easy. So we're going to click the home button. Brings you back to your desktop. Now, quickly, I want you to click it twice. Now you're going to see that this is all the prior running applications on your device. Okay? And you can see Posture is right there. Previously running uh, apps also uh, drain uh, memory. So if you find that your app becomes unresponsive, Posture Screen or any app for that matter, you want to um, uh, close down, just simply hold down the button here until the app's wiggle and you see that negative sign? We're going to go ahead and click it. And you can do this with everything else if you want to. I'll close these down as well, too, because those take up resources. Okay? So now we're going to click the Home button one more time. And another time brings us back to the desktop. Now, when we come to the app, it's going to open up again, update later, and this will come up. And always, if you get a chance, please rate us. Um, I'm going to hit Remind Me Later. We're going to now, if I come to patient list, you're going to see that we have our patients. So here's Dimitri, 
and these are his previous uh, exams. Okay, and if I come in here and I go to patient list again, you can see there are our previous exams. Now you can see the layout's completely new on Posture Screen Mobile. And that is essentially one of the most new powerful features with Posture Screen Mobile 3.0. Now, one of the new features as well is if you come into the reports, this was in here on a previous version, the camera angle here. A lot of people didn't understand what the horizontal offset was. This is the amount of tilt to get the horizontal line to line up. So if you don't want to tilt your device and you want to be on your knee when you take screenings, keep it on off. If you want to stand up, you can do that as well too. This horizontal offset was new in 2.9, but that allows you to do the tilting. So if you want to stand up, if you're really tall and you want to tilt it down even more, put it on 30 degrees. The best overall is to have it on off, but that's not practical if you're doing a bunch of screens all at once. One of the things that a lot of people missed also, and I'll show in another video what this is about, this alternate backup calibration method, or backdrop calibration method. If you have this on, you have to have a known distance that you're going to calibrate to on the backdrop. So you have to measure something on your background on a, on a screen that the patient stands in front of. It's a little bit more accurate, but if you don't have that, don't turn it on. And I'll look at my other videos for education on that. Uh, that would be used to be more in a clinical setting. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, um, you know, think about uh, using that. You have to have a backdrop. The first two points are going to be the points for calibration. So if you have this on and you say, okay, that those points are 42 inches excuse me, I, let me uh, delete that, move this down, move this up here. So if I come in there, it would be 42, I'm going to turn this sideways, done. Okay, let's put this in here and delete, and I'm going to hit 42, now I hit done. So that would be 42 inches right there. And what that allows you to do is to calibrate the first two points on the AP and lateral digitizations would be calibrating those points. So you'd have to dot those first. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, keep that turned off for right now. Okay? The other thing that people seem to ignore is this right here. This is for HIPAA compliance, encrypting the passwords. This is the office password here. I have another video for that. That was um, it, available in versions prior to 3.0. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you the new reports. If we go ahead and open up one of the new reports, I've already done the screening, and if we go through and I want to air print, because I can show you what this looks like when we hit air print, you're going to see we have a nice blue background. Um, it's much more visually attractive. Okay, now the one uh, caveat with this is, is that if you're printing a lot of these, a lot of people don't print these reports, but if you're printing a lot of these, you would go through, obviously, a lot of blue ink. So, we know that. So what you're going to do is, let's go into settings, and right here you're going to say use blue backgrounds, which is on and off. So I'm going to turn it off. So now we got a white background. So now if I go into patient lists, go into Teresa, and let's go ahead and screen, go through you'll see that we can move to just a white only background which also looks very appealing to the eye okay so those are the main improvements with version 3.0 we got many more versions and updates to come uh, specifically we got exercises coming a lot of people have been asking about exercises well we got those coming okay for more information please go to postureanalysis.com or email us at info at Thank you.